Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy. It's a lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver. Good morning. Are you ready to start another day inside of Stumpy's lovely world? Yes, I, I take that as a yes. <laughs> right, then I'll be over to you in just one minute. I'm just going to go and have my breakfast. You can eat a carrot or something if you want. Right, while he goes and eats his vegetables, I am going to eat a cake. And hopefully it's going to be a, a tasty cake. I can't remember the last time I had a cake which I actually enjoyed. Because, yeah, I'm not a very good cake baker. But I've had a, another attempt at the secret recipe. And uh, let's see how this one tastes. Nom, 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 it tastes like frog legs. How did it taste like frog legs? I put milk in, I put eggs in, I put sugar in, I put wheat in, oh, I put I put all the cakey things in, but somehow it tastes like frog legs. Plah, plah. Right, I'm definitely uh, not making a, another cake in the, the same way as that way. Anyway, uh, Barnaby, you can come and stand up and uh, you can join me as I go and say hello to, to William Beaver uh, and go and add someone uh, to the, the love garden. And then after that, uh, we're going to be heading to the, the fun land and beginning to build a brand new mini Game. But oh, oh, I did mention in the, the last couple episodes about something cool I want to show you. And uh, yeah, I will be showing you that today. So uh, yeah, hopefully you're going to enjoy that. But firstly, uh, I am going to be adding Molly. And I'm adding Molly uh, because she sent me this picture of her seventh birthday. And she sees she's got a, a stampy cat cake. And she's got a t-shirt. She's got loads of little tiny uh, stampy cupcakes. And uh, there's a, a mystery chest as well, which I don't know uh, what's in it. Uh, but it looks uh, pretty cool anyway. So I hope you had a very fun uh, birthday, Molly. And welcome to my love garden. I can hear a spider somewhere around here. I think Barnaby just went to, to wander off to, to go and see where uh, where the, the spider is. I can't hear it. Uh, William, hello, William. Good morning. I like having you uh, living here. You're the, the first proper neighbour I have that comes out and waves every morning. And oh, uh, a carrot. Um, I'm going to store that safely in my back pocket for now. Thank you very much. <laughs> right then, let's go and uh, head to the, uh, the dog. I'll actually tell you what, Barnaby, you can join us today because why not? I like having Barnaby with me. And uh, yeah, if you follow me, William Beaver, uh, there's something uh, that I want uh, to show you, uh, which you won't have ever seen before, but I don't know if you knew this, but underneath my house, there is a, a secret base, and you can uh, kind of see it uh, looking down here. And I have built a new contraption, and it's something that I built, uh, which is going to allow me uh, to get around my world uh, much faster than I can at the, uh, the moment. And oh, I got to remember, oh, I thought that was the spider then, it was just Barnaby. Don't try and scare me like that. <laughs> right then, what was the, the combination? I think it's one, three, and four. This should hopefully open the door. There we go, one, three, four, we'll open the door. That can be a, a good way for, for me to remember it. So yeah, uh, this is my, my secret base, uh, you can see here. I have the uh, the cakey, bakey, tasty cake making cooking machine. I got my time machine over here. Um, uh, over on this side, I have my uh, my cloning machine uh, as well, and my brand new machine, uh, which is my teleporter. It's called You But There Teleporter, <laughs> and uh, this is going to allow me uh, to be able to to teleport all over my world. And yep, uh, that is my You Again cloning contraption. This was good fun for a while, but then things got a little bit dangerous and. Are, are you sure? Are you sure you want to be cloned? Okay, only this once though, only this once I'm going to, to clone you, uh, just because uh, you really uh, want to, to be cloned. So Barnaby, uh, you can sit down here, and then if I go and uh, press the uh, the button, hopefully uh, William Beaver should be cloned at all. <laughs> it worked! We have a William Beaver clone! Hello! Welcome to the, the world! <laughs> the way it works is you should have... Oh, sorry, William Beaver's clone. Uh, you should have the, the exact same personality uh, as uh, as Billy Beaver 1 as well. There we go. This is good, actually, because now I have uh, two helpers uh, that uh, can uh, help me out building today. And... Um, 
And do, maybe you should put some clothes on. Do you, do you have any spare clothes? I know you have uh, lots of uh, different outfits. There we go. You can go and uh, get them dressed up. <laughs> and then this way as well, it'd uh, be easy for me to, to be able to, to tell the difference uh, between the uh, the two beavers I'm going to have going around my world. Uh, right then. Uh, now we've done uh, a bit of cloning. Uh, how about uh, we go inside of the, the teleporter? So I haven't tested this yet uh, with uh, teleporting a cat and a dog at the, the same time. But um, let's give it a go. Let's uh, go and uh, test it out and see how well this works. So uh, I'll go through first. I don't think we should try and do all four of us together, uh, but you can go and uh, teleport after me. So if I press this button, I need to set it to my fun land. I then pull down the, the lever and uh, here we go. Here we go. I'm teleporting. I'm being taken away. <laughs> that felt... That felt a little bit strange. <laughs> I'm quite dizzy. You seem to be okay, though. <laughs> you seem to be fine, Barnaby. Right, let's go and uh, open this up and let's see where we are. Here we go. It's worked. We are now in my in my fun land. So this is what the uh, the full teleporter looks like. And now, rather than having to, to run uh, the entire way here every time or going on the very slow tree train, I can go and just teleport here. And uh, I've set it up uh, so I can teleport to three different places. So there's three buttons uh, and each one is going to take me uh, to somewhere else. So I've got the, the fun land as the, the first one, uh, but I've got two spaces if I want to build them anywhere else. I could do one maybe if my town gets bigger or if I just discover something cool really far away and then I can just go and uh, teleport straight to there. So uh, that has just saved us a lot of time. Anyway, I realise I haven't really mentioned uh, what it is that we're going to, to be building today. And oh, I realise I've just kind of left uh, both the uh, the beavers behind, but <laughs> they know where we're coming. And oh, hello, Barnaby. You don't need a teleporter to teleport, do you? You just fly and stand right next to me. <laughs> right then, uh, what we're building today is a new mini game where we're going to be using experience. And I don't mean experience building games or anything. I mean actual experience orbs in Minecraft. I've got some uh, coal here, uh, some coal ore uh, that I gathered using a, a silk touch pickaxe and uh, you can see that if I break it there's experience that comes out and this experience can be kind of moved around you can see if I kind of stand close to it I can make it follow me and so that's the the main idea of the game because if I get a um a pressure plate and uh, let's go put down a, a crafting table and oh no that's a, a redstone lamp but yeah if I get a, a pressure uh, a pressure plate and put it down here and then if I go and um Oh yeah, let's go, let's go make the, the pressure plate. You can see that as the orb uh, goes over it, it actually sets it off. So let's do a, a door as well. And then we can see uh, that the, the orb can actually open the, the door all by itself. And it's really cool. So if I go and place, oh look, it's following me. It's chasing me. It's on my tail. <laughs> there we go, look, you see? It's opened the, the door by itself. <laughs> and then the, the door's going to slam in its, in its face a bit. Oh no, look, it actually got through the door. And yeah, yeah, I can then go and just pick it up. And then this one here would do the same. But if I put a uh, glass, uh, in between myself and the, the actual orb, then the orb wouldn't be able to, to get to me. The glass would block it, uh, but I can still control it. And so that is the, the main idea of the, the game. There's going to be an obstacle course or a obstacle course, as I like to call it. <laughs> and it's going to be in the, the shape of a kind of like a, a big orb. So what I'm going to do now is do a, a big circle, uh, which is going to be like the uh, the experience orbs. And uh, you can see that I'm using the, the same colours, uh, which is kind of the, this uh, this lime green and the, the yellow. So uh, this half of the, the circle. And hello, guys. <laughs> it's weird having two of you acting exactly the same. <laughs> right. So this is going to be a big circle. So uh, this half is going to be the, the lime green. And then the, uh, the other half, uh, is going to be a uh, yellow. So I now need to go along eight here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Break away that. Six, seven, eight. And then I go three across in this dial. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I've got confused now. Let me just double check this is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was pretty sure it was, but it's always worth double checking because you don't want to build the, the entire thing and uh, work out you've made one mistake. So I now go uh, eight again here, but I do uh, four uh, of the, the lime green and then four of the, the yellow. And then all of this needs to do uh, is go and, uh, and link up. And you know, guys, you could help me build rather than just standing there jumping up and down. <laughs> I know you should be good for friends, seeing as you have the exact same personalities, but you could <laughs> try and join in. Right, so tell you what, if I build the uh, the lime green side, uh, you guys can copy what I'm doing and try and do the, the yellow side here. So here's the, the moment of truth. Uh, hopefully this all links up perfectly, and uh, then that means it should be symmetrical. And yes, I do believe this is uh, perfectly uh, symmetrical, which is exactly uh, what we need to do. So 
we're going to, to build up, excuse me, Barnaby. Actually, let's uh, let's sit down, Barnaby, because I am going to be building up a little bit, and I don't want Barnaby to, to fall over. Barnaby, no, sorry, okay, you can stay up. <laughs> he obviously didn't want to, to sit down. He ran away as soon as I said that, so <laughs> it looks like Barnaby wants to, to stay running around. Be careful, though. Look at him. Look how lively he is today. <laughs> you're you're excited, aren't you? I think uh, I think Barnaby's looking forward to, to see what the, the game is. I don't know. He always just gets excited when I take him with me. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, uh, there's going to be a big wall uh, around here. And then next to the wall, there's going to be uh, kind of like a, a walkway around the, the outside and then glass uh, to make it. Uh, so that the orb can't get to you. So all you'll need to do is you'll break the uh, the coal ore, uh, which would make the uh, the experience come out, and then you need to guide it around here. Uh, but there are going to be different uh, uh, different obstacles in your way uh, that you need to get past. There can be trap doors flapping up and down. There's going to be normal doors. There's going to be water. Uh, there's going to be all sorts of things, very thin bridges, and uh, you need to go and guide it uh, around the the outside here. So let's go and uh, uh, let's put some torches down uh, as well. Actually, uh, let me go and make uh, a few beds. Uh, and we can uh, go to, to sleep because uh, it is quite dark around here and I am a, a little bit scared. So one, two, three. Uh, here are our three beds. I'm going to go and uh, place these down and we can all go and uh, have a nap. So yeah, there's just going to be a... Um, oh look, we've got even more beds here. <laughs> we've got lots of spare beds just in case any more uh, beaver clothes decide uh, to show up then <laughs> then they can come and uh, have uh, something to, to sleep as well. Come on you two, go to bed now, go to bed. <laughs> and then yeah, in the... Um, in the morning, we we'll carry on building. So uh, the majority of the game, uh, we're going to be going uh, around the, the outside of this area. But then once you get to the opposite side, uh, you're actually going to climb up on top of the game. And you're then going to be looking down through the glass and guiding it that way. So it's kind of uh, turned the, uh, the entire game on its head. And uh, you're doing it in a, a different style. And then there's going to be a whole bunch uh, of uh, more obstacles <laughs> that you're going to, to have to solve. Uh <laughs> 